If you can't use the boundary box adapter or reverse flow hose kit, you need to excavate the pipe. Expose the pipe where you want to insert the ferret head. Turn off the water supply and then cut the pipe or remove a coupling if there is one. Connect the inlet fitting to the incoming water pipe and attach the yellow inlet hose. Make sure the valve on the side of the ferret is closed and then turn the water supply back on. Check the inlet fitting for leaks before connecting the yellow inlet hose to the ferret. The drive or pipe pressure should now be showing on the display. Pull out the umbilical cord and feed it all the way through the clear outlet hose. Connect it to the ferret. Pass the umbilical cord through the outlet fitting and connect it to the outlet hose. Open the valve on the side of the ferret to flush air from the system and then close the valve. Unscrew the protective cap and fit the ferret head. Inflate the ferret head to check it does not leak. If you are using a new ferret head, it must be stretched to a larger diameter than the internal bore of the leaking pipe. Pull the umbilical cord out from the end of the outlet hose and feed it into the leaking pipe. Connect the outlet fitting to the leaking pipe. Open the valve on the side of the ferret to fill the leaking pipe with water and then check the outlet fitting for leaks. Open the air vent on top of the ferret. When water comes out of the vent, tip the ferret forwards to remove the last bit of air and then close the vent. The leak flow will now be showing on the display. If you are looking for a small leak, the display might not be showing any flow. If so, you will need to increase the pressure in the pipe to open up the leak. To see what the pressure in the pipe is set to, you need to close the valve on the side of the ferret and check the drive or pipe pressure level on the display. To adjust the pressure in the pipe, there must be a small amount of flow through the system. Open the valve on the side of the ferret until flow just begins to register on the display. To change the pressure in the pipe, slowly wind the dial on the side of the ferret towards the plus or minus. Turn off the valve on the side of the ferret and check the display to see what you have changed the pressure to. If possible, work with the pipe pressure at 20 to 25. Only work at higher pressure if the leak flow does not show. If the incoming water supply is lower than 20 to 25, then you will have to work at whatever pressure is available. Your ferret is now set up and ready to locate the leak.